Hey guys, I'm Peter Mellahorn. When is it better to drift or troll than to anchor? Well, stay tuned to this video. We're going to talk about it. All right, folks, it's Labor Day, 5 a.m. here at the bait tank, getting ready to get loaded up. Go out and see if we can catch some catfish. Weather looks good today. Seat's not really warm, uh, but uh, we're ahead of the hurricane that's coming in. It's not going to hit us, but it's going to be along the coast. So there uh, should be a crowd on the water. I'm getting out early today, try to catch some fish. It's the last day of summer. I don't think the boat traffic's gonna come to a screeching halt anytime soon, as long as it stays warm. After this weekend, all the pleasure boat stuff starts to diminish a little bit, so it gets a little nicer, but we'll have to deal with it by midday today. So I'm gonna go see if I can catch them before it gets crazy. All right, guys, got a beautiful sunrise going on. Looks like it's dead calm out here. I get my boat untied here. Looking good right now. We'll see what the winds do. The uh, forecast looks nice for today. So we will see. We will see. Gorgeous day. Good sunrise behind me. A little light ripple on the water. See if we can catch them. All right, guys, just doing some riding, doing some looking, uh, looking at the sonar, checking out a little bit of structure over here on the side, some uh, trees from a little microburst back in the summer that are down in the water. Some great flathead habitat. All right, guys, kind of a simple plan here. I'm anchored up on some trees, uh, these fallen trees there in the water. Uh, there's, they're kind of up on some shallow stuff. It's probably only six, seven, eight feet right in there. Kind of drops off into a little creek ditch. There's some rocks around. There's actually a fish attractor over here. Some of those uh, porcupine looking things that one of the uh, wildlife groups has put in the water. So it's a good little smattering of stuff. There's bait around, maybe a little too much bait for my liking, but I've got some uh, baits right along that tree. Uh, some up on the bank and then some off in the deeper ditch over here on this side. Just gonna let them soak here for a little bit and see what happens. Maybe give it about an hour and uh should know if something's biting uh beautiful beautiful morning hopefully we can catch one Dang, hooked up good fish good fish a little loose drag sucked a little bit of line off we got us a boat show all around us kayaks to the front power boats to the rear stuck in the middle again this feels like a blue cat. Feels like a blue. He stays butt and keep him out of the anchor rope above it. Yeah, on that side. Make a little move. Nice blue. Nice blue. Good looking fish. We got a show going on here. Got a crowd. Pop him loose. There we go. Good looking fish. Easy. Simmer down. Good looking fish there. How you doing? Easy. Get a little shot of him. Got a kayaker that's uh, watching the show. Almost 11. Yep. Good fish. Good fish. First one of the morning. I get the one that size that's dragging me around. There's some out here a lot bigger. All right, bang, there you go, first fish in the boat. That one came uh, from about the end of the tree, uh, kind of out on the end there, a little bit deeper water, I guess that's probably 14 feet of water right there, not super deep, but kind of out toward the end. Uh, nice fish, slimmer fish, looked like a male. 
no big belly on it that tells me they're probably not gorging on mussels at least not in here slammed it hard uh rod went over thought he was bigger than he was but he is what he is so happy to have one skunks out of the boat let's see if we can catch another one thinking this one may be a better fish get him over here to the outside we'll see not sure we will see this perch rod out of the way. Seems like everything we're getting hit on is right here. Oh, look at that bend. Oh, yeah. Got him cleared of all the stuff. Let me see. Over to the top. Come on, big boy. There he is. Another long blue. Long bodied blue. A little bit bigger one. Oh, yeah. Hey, say. Got on my boga. Got on my boga. Hey, say. Got him. Good fish. Good fish. Hey, say, simmer down. Simmer down. Blue cat. Long fish, not a lot of belly though. No belly action going on. Tells me they're probably not feeding on mussels in here. Back alive. All right, guys, my 10 minute rolls up. Uh, and it worked out great. I got a ski boat in here, uh, which is to be expected. It's Labor Day, so you're going to have that happen. Uh, I got two fish off this location. Uh, my thinking is now, I don't know, I want to go anchor up in one more spot. I just don't know how much more pleasure boat traffic I'm going to get. I may go run to a place that's fairly shallow, kind of hard to get to by boat, try that, and uh, just to see if there's anything holding in some shallow water. Just don't know though. I'm undecided. Uh, this is the way I do it a lot of times. It, I don't decide exactly what I'm doing until I get all the rods reeled in and start to motor and start to roll off. So, let's reel them in, see what hits me. All right, reposition to get away from the ski boats. So I'm to come to a shallow place that I hope they would stay out of. So far, so good. Water's a little cooler here. A little bit of current. I got a... Decent fish. Huh? Let's see if I can. Easy oh, trigger. Let's see if I can lift. Eh, might. Eh. Is he too big to lift in? Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, I can lift him in. This out of the way. Up here, hello, fella. So that will lift him. Oh, yeah. Easy, easy, simmer down, simmer down, sucker, simmer down, sucker. Now you right at the limits of what I can lift in. Pretty blue, hello, mud on him. Seems like a fish, not a big one. But a fish. So that's uh, one in our new spot. Made a little move, try something a little different. We got one. Let's see if we can get another one. All right, guys, been set up here about 45 minutes. Uh, we only got that one fish in the boat so far. That's uh, it. So uh, I think I'm going to reel them in and make a move. Not sure where yet. This looked inviting up here. A uh, little bit of current like 78 degree water uh, some cold water coming in here but uh no fish or one fish that's it so i'm gonna reel them in make a little move uh it's about 9 30 we probably got another i don't know a couple hours before the boat traffic gets really really bad I'll probably do some drifting uh got just enough of a light breeze it should be able to cover water pretty good 
and I can tolerate ski boats and all that kind of stuff a lot better when I'm drifting than when I'm trying to anchor up. All right, guys. I think I'm hooked into a small fish here that I think may have swam into another line. Sadly, I was sitting there with my back to it and wasn't paying real good attention. If he stays hooked up, I'll be lucky. Not on fire, except for the boats. Boats are on fire. Boat traffic is showing up. The last two rod for the weekend warriors. Yep, I lost that one. Got into another line there. Nothing will make you lose a fish quicker than getting wrapped up in another line. That is the one off of planter board. But yeah, get them back in the water. All right, guys. I got something going on with some rods here. I got some lines going in different directions. One may have a fish. Before I reel down on it, I'm trying to figure out what's going where. There's a fish on something here. Oh, there he is. That fish never moved a rod. I just noticed the line was real slack I'm going way out that way. I'm not sure how much stuff he's gotten into. We'll see here. We will see. Small blue. All blues today. Look, he's definitely into another line. Nice blue. Not a monster, but a good eater. Good Lake Wiley Blue Cat right there. Taking a pretty big bait. Pretty cat. Good eater size one. Get it back alive. Say bye bye. Ooh, nice fish. Let's see what that one hit there. White purse, gonna freshen that up. Just using a Santee style rig like I normally do. That one just came on the regular cork. All right, so when is drifting preferable to anchoring up? Well, for one, a day like today when you got a lot of Labor Day boat traffic beating you around and knocking you everywhere, it's very nice to drift. Uh, you're not getting knocked off anchor, uh, that kind of thing. Also, when uh, fish are not held to structure, when they are not tight, on a brush pile, a rock pile, some specific point, pepper and water uh, is a good option. And also when you're just trying to figure out what's going on on the lake, say you're on a new body of water, uh, fishing it for the first time or whatever, it's a great way to figure out what fish are doing or if you haven't been fishing in a while to figure out what fish are doing. So those are the times that I like to drift over anchoring. Now for my setup on drifting, uh, I've got six rods usually. Today I'm running two on planter boards, uh, the other four going out. Two of them are on the corner of the boat going straight out. Those two close to the motor are probably, I don't know, 125 feet back. Uh, and then I stagger them. The next two rods are in a little bit closer. And uh, that way I've got kind of a hand effect to uh, different lengths there uh, as far as how far they are behind the boat. I don't fish my line straight underneath the boat. I prefer to have them out away from the boat. Uh, more for hook setup than anything. Just the angle of the rod, angle of the line. Uh, it's a little bit better angle for getting hooked up with circle hooks. Uh, I'm not really worried about the boat scaring fish as much as that angle uh, helping with the hookup. Uh, some people fish straight underneath the boat. Uh, it, it'll work. Uh, you know, I just don't do it. It's just my preferred method. Now today, I'm pretty much letting the wind drive me. Uh, I've got a drift sock out to slow me down a little bit. Then I have my trolling motor uh, that I use to basically keep the attitude of the boat in the right direction. Uh, comes in handy, especially if you hook a fish or trying to stay on a little piece of structure that you come across. Uh, on days when it's calm, I use the trolling motor. It's totally trolling then more than it is drifting. 
Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. And here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.